Hi, Dick Rochford here. Have a good day. It's our cruise uh, altitude 280 uh, good morning, uh, over zero. eastern Kentucky on our way to uh, Washington, oh, Iowa, the Ray nine Washington, four, Muni. Houston, and, I, got uh, I want to talk a little bit about setting up the, uh, the aircraft for cruise. We're going to use, of course, the... Uh, Allegiance 2030, uh, you're going to get stuck here at uh, 35,000, which uh, uh, I'll move you up to in just ECTM a moment. ECTM book uh, that comes with the aircraft. Uh, right now, we're, we only make given 34,000. That is if you train with me. Allegiance 2038, uh, actually, can I maintain bubble 35? We're right down, down the numbers. We know that, of course, the, the data right, gets recorded on the top card if you leave the top card in the MFD. Uh, but it, this is a little more visible for the owner pilot and provides a good record that can be passed along. Uh, if and when you decide to sell this beautiful airplane. Endeavour 5036 is going to maintain First thing we want to do then is uh, use the true air correction, the uh, Endeavour 5036, uh, outside air temperature and the uh, chart in the POH to set up the, uh, the cruise altitude power setting. So may I see your chart there for a minute, Ben? Thank you. So not only this is this a power chart, it's also an eye test. So um, Envoy 3959, uh, I'll tell you that the OAT runs down the left column here, and altitudes run across the top. So we choose uh, an OAT and an altitude, and in the middle is a power setting. We set 12 or 20 in the torque, and then recorded given it a few minutes to set up and then recorded uh, torque, prop speed, uh, compressor speed, etc., etc. Et and then over time you get a picture of how the engine's running and see what, if any, maintenance uh, might be required. Or at least be able to pass this along to the, uh, the shop when you get your routine maintenance done. Once the uh, ECTM is uh, completed, then we could go uh, every once in a while to the back of the book and uh, find the uh, viewer cross-check. That only knots. needs to be done every 30 days. I say only, but knots, it'd be better if you did it, you know, at least that often. It's no big deal. What we'll do is uh, turn on the uh, bearing pointers, assign bearing pointer number one to nav one, for example, bearing pointer number two to nav two. And then in this case, we're, we're looking at uh, uh, Sierra Uniform Gulf. We can see that there's zero degrees of bearing error. And we can also see the, uh, the frequency, the bearing to the station and uh, the distance. So we can uh, then record in the book uh, that which we need to uh, to do. So we we're basically southeast, 140 miles southeast of uh, Sierra Uniform Gulf. And then when you get zero degrees of bearing air, it's just that easy. And I know it's not particularly important, but uh, it does help uh, to at least follow that very simple regulation and uh, keep that uh, up to date. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train off it.